Hey, hey everybody, this is Tracy Reed, and today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily add two 3x4 photos to one 4x6 canvas for print three different ways in Photoshop, Lightroom, and from your iPhone in PicStitch. So let's start with Photoshop. I know that this can be time consuming for folks, so I wanted to show you the quickest ways to do it in three different programs so that you could decide which way is right for you. So I have my two photos open and the first thing I'm going to do is crop them down so that I have two 3x4 photos. So I'm going to go to my crop tool and under the crop tool options you can use um, one of the preset ratios or you can choose a width, height, and resolution for your crop. So that's what I'm going to choose and I'm going to put in three um, inches by four inches and 300 dpi which is print resolution. And now I'm going to set my crop boundaries. I can of course make it smaller or I can make it larger. And I'm actually gonna choose the whole photo and get rid of some of this grass in the front and keep the whole tree. And then I'm going to repeat the process with my other photo. And um, what I end up with is two three by four photos that are the correct size and ready to go. So I create a new canvas by going to File New and I go to 6 inches wide and 4 inches tall and 300 dpi resolution and I copy and paste both photos onto the 4x6 canvas. You can do that by Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and Control V on your 4x6 canvas to paste the copied photo. So there's my first photo and I'm going to redo it again with my second photo and move both photos to the outer edges so they're next to each other on the canvas. So now they're ready to print but if you want to add a white border around your photos you can do that easily by double clicking the layer in the layers palette and adding a white inner stroke to your photo and I normally chose 10 to 15 pixels for my inside stroke um, depending on how thick of a white border I want. Then you can copy it to your other photo and you now have two 3x4 photos with white borders that can easily be cut down the middle now after you've printed them. So now, when you go to print, everyone's printer is going to be different, so you'll have a little trial and error to see what works best for you. I have an Epson, and I can either choose to print non-borderless, which will add its own white border around my photos and shrink them a bit, or I can print borderless. Now, when I print borderless, it actually increases the size of my photos to compensate, so I have to go back into the print dialog box and reduce the print size to about 95% so my white borders don't get cut off. Now, that's how it works with my photo printer, and it might not be the same with your photo printer. So again, you're going to need to go in and do some trial and error to see um, what works for you and how your printer prints. Next, I'm going to be showing you how to do the same thing in Lightroom. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do it in Lightroom. And actually, in Lightroom, the process is a lot shorter and simpler. You don't have to worry about cropping. You don't have to worry about copying and pasting. Um, all you have to do is set up a print template once and then you're good to go for multiple prints across time. So I'm going to show you how to set up a print template. I have both my photos imported to Lightroom that I want to print on a 4x6 canvas. Now if you use Lightroom regularly, you'll have more photos. But we're going to go over here to the print dialog box. And I've already set up my print template, but I'm going to show you how to set up the exact same template. The first step is to come down here to Page Setup and make sure that your printer is selected and then it will let you choose any of the print sizes that your printer is set up for. Uh, my printer has a ton of sizes in here, but what I want is 4x6 borderless. So that's what I select and then I'm going to show you all of these settings over here. We want single image contact sheet, zoom to fit, and rotate to fit. And then we want all of our 
margin zeroed out so that it fills up the entire page. And then we want one row and two columns. That way we have a two up on a four by six canvas. And then you want to come over here and double check that your height and width are set to four inches tall and three inches wide, just to make sure that you're actually getting four by three prints. Now, to choose your photos that are going to be, there are going to be photos in your photo strip down here. You'll probably have more than just two. And in this dialog box, you can choose selected photos, film strip photos, or flagged photos. You'll want to choose selected photos. That way, if you have a bunch of photos in your film strip, you can choose which two photos it autofills by command or control clicking the two photos that you want. So here's one, and I hold down command and click, and now it's autofilled both. You can move it around to change the crop um, and until you're happy with it. Now, if you want to have white borders, just like in Photoshop, you'll want to come over here to stroke border, change your color to white, and then you can adjust the size of your border until you're happy. Um, I, I like semi thick borders, so that's what I would choose. And then when you're ready to print, you can just come down here and click the print dialog and you're good to go. Now, before we get out of this, you'll want to save your template. And by coming up here and clicking on this plus sign next to template browser, you can save this template and name it. Um, I named mine two three by fours and then it will save in user template. Finally, I'm going to show you how to do it directly from your phone using the Pick Stitch app on my iPhone. So here is my photography folder on my iPhone, and I'm going to choose Pick Stitch, which is a free program that allows you to put more than one photo on your canvas. So once you open up Pick Stitch, you have a bunch of different grids to choose from. And you're going to want to choose the first one on the second column. And that's going to give you this square orientation. So you want to click on aspect down at the bottom of the screen. And that will give you the option to change the size. And of course, you're going to want to choose six by four, which will give you a horizontal four by six print with two photos next to each other. And once you have that chosen, you can then click on either of the photos and you'll want to choose a photo from your photo album. Or I guess if you're doing it in the moment, you can choose camera and take a photo as well. So I'm going to choose this photo of my tree that's blooming. And you can um, add effects and edit the photo if you want to. I normally edit in a different program than this one. And then you can repeat the process on the other side with another photo and in the app you can also resize and zoom in if you want to on each frame individually so now i have two photos chosen next to each other and now um, at this point you want to export by choosing the export button at the bottom and you can print to Walgreens or you can save it to your photo album. This is what it looks like in my photo album. And then you can choose the little export button at the bottom. And all the way on the right hand side is print. And you can choose your printer and wirelessly print directly to your printer from your iPhone.